important from the implementation. The four topics is the first topic is client administration. First topic is client administration, and second topic is a uh, EMS configuration. Okay, EMS configuration, and next one is the kernel upgradation. So how to do the kernel upgradation? Okay, and next one is the support package upgradation. Okay, support packages upgradation. So these are the four topic. This is very 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 important from this in entire implementation project concept. So when you go for implementation project, so these topics are very 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 important. So previously what we discussed that is the supporting project and migration project. Now what we discussed these are the very very important parts when you're doing as an implementation project. And today we're discussing as a client administration. Under client administration, what is the transition is covered? So first one is SSC1. What is SSC1? So, so client copy by so I think up to your learning as a 30 transaction code more than that. Okay, now you want to go for this implementation concept. Okay, client copy by using transport request. Okay, TR transport request. And next one is the SSC3. What is SSC3? That is nothing but client copy by using Transport client copy log analysis. Okay, and next element SSC4. SSC4 is nothing but client creation. Okay, and SSC5 is one client deletion. Okay, and next one is the SSC7 is one uh, client. And SSC is for client export. Okay. Okay. Now I shall go for SSC nine. So SSC nine is for remote client copy. Okay. Remote client copy. And SSC is for local client copy. Okay. And next one is the SC U0 client comparison. Very easy and most difficult for theoretical part and it is very easy but when you go for um, practical session uh, it is very easy. Practical session is only 5 minutes, 6 minutes but you want to go for um, theoretical is very very important to log and unlock the client. So, so this is the Yeah. <laughs> so this is our agenda. You want to go for overall client administration from end to end. Okay. So, sir, first of all, what is meaning of client? Why you want to go for client concept? Okay. We will see now. So now tell me. Suppose so you are working in a essential company. Okay. So you want to buy the software. Where you buy the software? So I want to buy the SAP software. So who are buying? Hello. Yeah. yeah sure. we, we will be yeah. working on a yeah. So, so you want to buy the SAP software from where we buy? So you have to buy the SAP software from SAP Lab. After that, we want to doing as a installation. Installation is done to your Accenture then buy. So, in Accenture, what we do sir, you are providing as a so Accenture will be hanging different different like like a word of phone will be there. Okay, Accenture will be hanging as a. What are for our BMW, our SBI, our DMAR. So people in different products is available. So what are this will be behind? This will be having is called as a client. Okay. So at the end of what we'll do, so where we installing an SAP software, okay, where we installing SAP software, in this software I can provide a guy there. So I want to do the growth for so on so project. Okay. Suppose I want to start any project or anything compulsory. How many systems is required? Compulsory. Yeah. At least. Yeah. At least how many systems is needed? Minimum. You. It depends. But you. You. You should have client and server. Yeah. How many? What's the server? Even suppose just thinking about. Suppose today I am designing as a medicine. 
okay in my factory okay, in my pharmacy industry so i want to distinguish any drug or medicine in my pharmacy industry okay pharmacy industry so at the time where we design the medicine first of all what we do any product not for anything i say anything even pen also okay so i want to first of all where we go so you want to go for factory okay like in factory again we'll be having as a r and d department okay again r and d department okay registration and development those are do the formulas and everything okay internet testing is done okay after that you want to study as a designing like customization what is size and everything we do the customizing after that what you do so you want to go for government approval means so you want to go for quality assurance after that is marketed in the market so means i want to designing anything compulsory this is the process is follow means how many instances is required minimum three stages is occurring what if this is is first is in factory and government approval and after this go for live is nothing but market okay this is normal industry even when you go for software industry suppose now i want to designing as a one website okay now as uh, like any guys uh, developers will be designing one website okay website what happened in website what will do so collection of pages first of all you want to preparing as a kt like you do the planning uh, how is um, how we go for our you know the blueprint of the website and after that so you want to test on this blueprint those are customizing customizing that again what we do those are do the internal testing internet testing is over then after what when this website is developed by the dot net developer or java developer so and so after that what happened so you can forward into the testing okay we will be forward to the testing go to the testing testing guys will be testing tools and cellular and testing quality check will be done once testing is done those are placing into the very place those are putting as www dot so and so xyz dot com or else so what happened anything testing is failure again is go for customizing okay so means i want to design anything first of all any project or bm not for anything even i want to manufacture a car even i want to manufacture as any operating system even i want to manufacture again anything any medicine or anything compulsory how many systems is required compulsory three systems is required what is the system is first of all development system and second is a quality system and third one is the production system okay clear yeah. yeah okay so means you want to do anything like any project or anything compulsory how many systems required minimum is three system what are three servers here development server and quality server and production server so is development server in development says what we do we want to do the customizing you want to do the r and d you can do the training station and you can do the internal training and you want to internal test everything and quality guys what we do those are testing okay testing and after that in live data means daily we getting as live data is nothing but a production market in market what happened the changes is go for production server okay so no okay, okay now what happened so i had installing as a three servers okay one is for development server one is for quality server and one is for production server okay fine now here again in development i want to dividing data this is a customizing data is a r and d data is a testing data so again this all these clients are located in a single place or different location and then again which project i want to do so is it the vodafone project okay the vodafone project or bmw project or so on so any project how to define it say which project okay at that time what we'll do how to differentiate the data first thing is my first target is so i had installed the three application server three application server here what three application development server quality server and production server again in development again i want to dividing the data how to dividing the data so we'll be discuss that upon so how to divide the data in the format of client concept okay so every client will be having as a compulsory three servers is required minimum is three servers as maximum as per the their project size so minimum three is is a development quality and production so as a basis consultant you want to installing a three servers and you are working on a for development and called for production sorry uh, development and production so you don't involve into the quality server because uh, you don't have access from quality only as a testing guys will be having as a quality server access but basis class will be having but you don't log in daily you log in as either product development either production okay so now clear this so 
So now here, so that's clear. So now here, I want to transfer in the data. So see here. So so I want to sorry any project. Uh, how many servers is there here? How many servers is there? I have three servers. Okay. So development server, quality server, production server. So what is meaning of development? What is meaning of development? Okay, what is meaning of development and what is meaning of quality and what is meaning of production? See, development is nothing but those are doing the coding and testing and development and deployment. It's nothing but a live data. So during the SAP project implementation, the development system and quality assurance system built by the basis team and the client instance strategies. So how to differentiate the data in the format of client instance data and software change option to update airport. And after that, once installation is done, once you have to create the client, everything is done. So as a functional team, what we are doing, the SAP functional team is creating as a organization structure from business form and configure the okay tables from the SAP business support. So now what we'll do, I have just assumed I had installing a three systems. Again in three systems, I want to differentiate the data. Okay, in development, how many clients is required? So here is now see here. Three clients so for customizing purpose and R&D purpose and internal testing. After that, we will go for external servers. Okay. So now here, so again, what we'll do once this development is done. So I want to transferring the data between the development to quality. I want to transferring the data between the quality and production. So it's not a silly. So around terabytes of data is there. How to transfer the data from one system to another system? So using as a client concept. So that will be called as a software logistic. SAP software logistic. What is the meaning of logistic? What is the purpose of logistic? So I want to moving the data between the one system to another system. One system to another system. How to deploy me? That is go for TMS configuration. Now my requirement is first of all, what is our requirement? First of all, so I had installing will be discussed this later. First of all, so first of all, what we do? First time when installing as SAP software. So okay, first time when installing the SAP software. So you are getting as a so and so data, okay? So first time in installing SAP software like development server, or quality server, or anything. So so what is the data you getting? You are getting some data. So what type of data? So by using the data, like SAP Labs is providing the data. By using the data, I want to customizing as per my client requirement. So the data is called as a R by three data. So what is the data? It's called as a R by three data. First time in installing SAP software, you're getting as some data. The data is called as a R by 3 data. Again, based on the functionalities, again R by 3 data is okay, R by 3 data is can be divided into the so R by 3 data R by 3 is can be divided into the uh, dividing into two types. Okay. Two types. One is for cross client data. Okay. One is for client specific data. Sir, what is meaning of cross client data? What is meaning of client specific data? Is nothing. But, so cross client data is nothing but so same data will be affected to the multiple clients. Okay. Same data will be affected to the multiple clients <laughs> globally. If you do any changes on so on so client automatically affect the remaining all client. So next one is the client specific data. If you do any changes, it will be acting as only in particular way. For example, uh, I want to create the one user ID. Okay, so I have to log on to 800 client. I want to create it as a one user ID. That user ID is user one. Okay, so but you same user ID. So are you able to log on to 100 client? Is this possible? Same user ID. So when you log on to get the client number, user ID is user so yes or zero one, and just click on log on. So login is possible or not? Hello. So login yeah. is possible. Login is possible. Yeah. Well, you directly log in. Suppose when you log on to the system, so you see here what happened. Just click on login button. So you have to. And I actually have logged in 800 client. By by default, I'm logged in 800 client. I want to create a so on so user ID like GIS US at 23. So that client is the same user ID. So same user ID. I want to uh, I want to change the client ID 100. So uh, user ID and password. It is login. It's possible. 
no no that's not possible not possible because a uh, user id is a client specific data so why you have to create the user id first of all why you have to create the user id based on their client requirement i want to start the project for my client so that's why you want to create the user id means so if you do any changes it will be affecting only particular user particular client or that is meaning client specific data so cross client data is nothing but what is the cross client data if you do any changes it will affect the remaining all client for example su01 so in 800 client in 800 client uh, how to create the user id what are transaction using su01 only even i want to log on to 100 client how to create the user id su01 only even 200 client how to create the user id su01 any client transaction code is similar or not yes it is this is all the standard data okay the standard data is also called as a cross client data okay now clear so when installing yeah. the sap system so what type of data is getting you getting as a two types of data what is the first one so we cross client data for by the data again between between two types one is for a cross client data and client specific data okay so cross client is nothing but same data will be affected with the multiple clients so if you do any changes it automatically affect the remaining all clients what are the remaining clients we will see again and next one is the client specific data what is the meaning of client specific data okay the data will, if you do any changes it affect on only particular clients is called as a client specific data examples are user users here examples are standard transaction codes and standard tables those are all about cross client data okay fine now clear So when installing our yeah. data, our way to do this. Again, now here what happened? So I'm clear, sir. Again, sir, how theoretical is it? How the data will be came into picture? Okay, how the data will be came into picture? Theoretical, you say very well. That's okay, fine. So now how the data will be came into picture? So how data will be say here? I say na when installing as SAP server. Okay, when installing as once you have to discussing architecture. Okay, when installing SAP server. SAP application server in one application server, okay. Installing mm -hmm. SAP application server, okay. In one application server, how many instances you can configure? In one installation, I think one yeah, application can... server. How many instances you can configure? So how many instances? Zero zero ninety nine. Totally how many? Yeah. So again, uh -huh. it's given into again the concept. You don't forget. Again, instance can be done how many times? Central instance and dialog instance. How to identify the central instance is dialog instance. Sorry. How to identify is a central instance number is a dialog instance number. Central instance and versus dialog one. Forgot. Back is central instance by default. First time when you're starting, you're getting the by default number. It's called as a Central instance. Zero zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except zero one, remaining everything fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a like anything. It's called as yeah, a yeah, yeah. instance. Okay. Yeah. Again, I want to go for basic setting. Okay. Again, one application server. Okay, will be having this. How many central instances will be there? One application server. How many central instances will be there? For one application hmm. server. One central instance remaining all are remaining how many is there? Out of hundred, one is there. Then out of remaining ninety-nine are sir dialog instances. Okay, now see. So I want to installing as a SAP application server. Again, you want to dividing the partition. The partitions is called as a instances. Again, one application server how many instances you configure? Zero zero to ninety means totally hundred instances there. Again in this one, again instance is based on the functionality, based on the installation number. So the instance is divided into the two types. One is for central instance, one is for dialog instance. How to identify the central instance are not? The naming convention is zero zero. Okay, one application server. How many central instances will be there? Only one central instance remaining. All are dialog instance only. Till now is clear. Okay. Yeah. Now here in one instance number now. I think sir, you say installation is completed. Now we say practically you are getting some data. How the data will be came into picture? Again here, okay. So now here, so one instance you can creating as a totally 
zero zero to nine 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 means r by three data how the r by three data is came into picture is nothing but in the format of client id okay one application server totally how many clients you can configure minus maximum configuration thousand clients is only theoretically is possible when you go for practical session only you go for real time only maximum 40 and 60 bad 40 30 50 maximum 60 you have to maintain other than this you want to maintain the huge amount of database so nobody providing this at the time service is collapsed only theoretically is possible okay mm -hmm. so now here sir again sap software is dividing into the two types what are the two types here sap ids sir when you're installing this sap ids by default you are getting some standard data that is r by 3 data again how r by 3 data is came into picture in the format of clients you saw this time okay fine what the clients is came so by default you're getting as a totally seven clients what are seven clients so by default triple zero 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 one and zero double six eight hundred eight ten 811, 812. Okay. Installing as SAP IDS. What is meaning of IDS? Shakir, what is meaning of IDS? It's nothing but a crack versions. When you go for project version, what is project version? is nothing but non IDS. Non IDS is nothing but licensed version. Okay. When installing as SAP licensed version, you are getting some data in the form of R by the data. It's called as R by the data. How the data will be came into picture in the format of client only. How many clients is came is three. Sir, only one client is enough now. Why you want to go for three clients? We'll be see one by one. Okay. The clients are triple zero, zero zero one, and zero double six. Okay. Clear this? Once I have recap. Yes. So first time when you're installing a SAP application server, okay, you are installing one application server. Okay. Again, one application server, how many partitions you can do? So you can do it as a partition 0, 0 to 99 instances. Again, the instance is divided into the totally 0, 0 to 99. Totally 100 instances there. Out of 100, one has the central instance, remaining all are 99 are dialogue instances. Again, each instance, okay, each instance, the data will be divided in the format of clients. Each instance, how many clients you can configure is nothing but 0, 0 to 9999 totally 1000 clients is created that's fine sir the range is okay clear now now what happened so i want installing as a sap like again sap software is doing two versions licensed version and crack versions okay the crack version but sap not as is dummy version okay sap not as is even licensed version now i want installing as sap ids you are getting as some data what the data you're getting as a r by the data here also r by the data but when you're selling as SAP IDS, you're getting as a total of seven clients. What are seven clients here? What is seven clients? So triple zero, zero one, zero double six, eight hundred, eight eleven, and eight twelve. Sir, okay. One instance, how many sir? One instance, how many clients you can create it? So totally the range is thousand. By default, when you're selling SAP software, by default, you will get some standard clients. Standard clients are seven. Means how many clients you can create today? Totally 993 will be created. When you go for licensed version, the range is 1000. Again, by default, when you're sending SAP, so by default, you're getting as three clients. So, how many clients you can customize it? You can create it as totally 997 clients you can customize it. Okay. Don't confuse it. Just you want to ask to our time. Again, I want to recap now because, because these implementation concepts, this is very, very important. If you want any doubt, you ask me. Okay. Okay. So now here, okay. Now till now is clear. Sir, you say client, 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 client. What is meaning the client? Client is nothing but customer. It's normally customer. Okay. So yes. yes, customer, I want to create as one ID that is called as a client ID. When you go for technical declaration, client is nothing but client will be having his own set of database. Okay. His own database. So, okay. Self technically, organization, commercial will be having his own set of database. Okay. okay. So now here, yes. okay, sir. Sir, when you're installing this, okay, now here, when you're installing SAP, the data will be coming to the, how the data will came? SAP R by the data is coming to the format of clients only. Okay, clients. Means practical level, you go for practical, you go for the clients only. Sir, only one client is enough, why you have to go for three clients? 
Only one client is available. Why you have to go for three clients? You show only three by the three. You can log in, you can create a user IDs. No? First time installing, you want to log on. First of all, you can log on. Once you log in, then after that, you want to create it as a client ID. And so on and so on. Okay? And why you have to go for three, three clients is nothing but. So now you want to discuss it as a licensed version only. Don't go for non licensed. Okay? So SAP ideas. So now using as SAP ideas, how many clients will be there totally? When installing SAP ideas, non ideas, how many clients will be there? You're getting as a yeah. three clients. Yeah. The three yeah. clients are triple zero, zero zero one, and zero double six. Sir, why go for three clients? Why don't go for only one client? Now see here. First of all, I want to know the triple zero client. What is meaning of triple zero client? Triple zero client is called as a master client. Okay, so triple zero client is called as a master client. Okay, so means in my what do you mean master client is nothing but overall standard configuration. Okay, standard configuration and standard settings. Okay, standard configuration and standard settings. Everything will be hanging to the triple zero client only. Okay, suppose if you do any changes, okay, if you do any changes in triple zero client, it will affect the remaining all clients. What is the meaning of remaining all clients? It will affect the remaining. 999 clients will be affected. If you do anything triple zero means suppose I want to log on to triple zero client, I want to create as a uh, one user in triple zero client. So that user will be affected with remaining all 990 clients. Same user will be having as remaining all 990 clients will be there. Okay? Because we say all standard settings will be hanging as a all standard setting and standard configuration will be hanging this client. It is very very powerful. So you as a basis consultant, you don't give this access to anyone. Only on basis consultant will be having this access. Remaining guys, you don't have to give the other access. Okay? Okay. All standard con. So then what is the purpose of this triple zero client is that in triple zero clients you can perform only three operations. The three operation is first of all, PMX configuration. Okay. And support package upgradation, okay, support package upgradation, upgrade the support packages, and part of the concept is so these three talks only you can use as a triple zero client. Other than this, remaining what we'll do. So by using triple zero, what are tasks you can perform? You can perform only three, three tasks. What three tasks is TMS configuration, support package upgradation, and next one is the client copy. Sir, I want to do a user administration, then I want to do it as a role administration, I want to do it as a background job administration, I want to do it as full administration. At that time, what we'll do? So, at that time, what we'll do? We can log on to 001 client. Okay? Yeah. For example, I want to log on to 000 client, I want to do the background job as full administration, user creation. What happened? It will affect the remaining all clients. Because I be having as some standard future and standard configuration, standard sex will be there. So that's why by using a triple zero client, you can put the only three accounts. When you do this task, we'll be discussing in depth level again. So what the task will be do? You can do it as a TMS configuration, and next one is the support packages, and next one is the client copy. Yeah. Okay. So other than you want to do any other task, like I want to do it as a user administration, I want to create the users. So I, like background job, school administration, anything. What we do? You want to log on to the 001 client. So what is meaning of 001? It's nothing but Copy a master client. Okay. Copy a master client. It's nothing but copy of triple zero client. It's a, like it's a yeah. it's just backup purpose. Zero zero is the backup purpose. Okay, other than this, so everything. So you can do the back user administration. By using this client, you can do the user administration, background job administration, everything you can do in SAP. Because of the okay. effect is the backup is there, triple zero is there now. So that's so zero zero is copy of copy of master client or copy of triple zero client. Okay. So three clients, two clients is why you have to go for zero double six. Actually, zero double six is called as a service client. Zero double six is as a service client. What is meaning of service client is nothing but any server is down, any server issues. Okay. And any server issues, okay. Or any database is down, DB database is down, server is down, any performance issues or anything, you can log on to only on 066 client. So 0 is like this is a doctor. So you don't go for anything, only on SA, only for service purpose only you can use this. Other than you cannot use, there is no use of 066 client. Okay. 
so these are the clients now so i want to do the process. so by default you're getting this take clients now by using this clients i want to creating as a client id it's like client id 100 for development bmw server a bmw development server development client okay client number 200 bmw quality server plan number 300 you can customize as per your requirement that will go for client creation sir i want to get the doubt when you go for login screen only client is enough when you look for login screen you want to enter the only client id and have enough what are the details yeah. will compulsory only client is remaining only client id you want to enter the only client id and just click on enter button is login is done no no you don't allow so what happened it should be compulsory enter the username and password sir first time when, well, first time when installing i'm going to get the client three clients is okay with the clients also, I want to getting as just some user IDs. Okay? Okay. So he, this is the very, very three master clients. Okay, master clients and master user IDs. Okay, master user IDs and master passwords. So everywhere who are by the SAP software, by default, you're getting this your data, common data from everyone. Even IBM mm -hmm. company you by the SAP software, even you have to go TCC by the SAP software, everything is a standard lens. After that, you just change the password and everything as per the client requirement. Okay. okay. So first client, what the clients you're getting? Client number 000, client number 001, next one is a client number 06. Okay. Yeah. Client number 000, what are user ID here? Here two user ID says there, one user ID is the SAP star and one more user ID also that user ID is the DDS. DDS DDSC full form is data dictionary. Okay. Data dictionary, yeah. Yeah, data dictionary. And what is the password of SAP star? The password of SAP star is 06079092. So why the password is putting this is data is nothing but SAP R3 architecture introducing as a this date only. That's why the password is standard. Okay. okay. Uh, DDSC password is reverse. 9092-0706. Okay. okay. And even SAP star also will be having one more password. The password is a pass. When using will be discussed later. Again, again 001. So 001, what is the 001? Copy of triple zero clan. Same user ID, same passwords. What is SAP star password? 0607-1992. And again the DAC password is 1992-0706. This two are common. And coming to 066. 0.6 6 username is early watch and one more which I that is SAP star. Okay, most of the 90% is using as only on early watch only. Okay, again with the password, early watch password is support. Okay, SAP star password is 0607-1992. Okay, these are the standard client and standard user IDs and standard passwords. First, when you log on to SAP server, you can log on this user IDs only and this passwords only, this clients only. Okay. okay. Sir, you say why you go for two passwords? Because uh, actually, again, again you discuss. So by using triple zero, what are the operations you can perform? By using the triple zero, you can perform only three operations. One is for TMS configuration and one is for okay, one is for TMS configuration, one is for support packages okay support package okay and the purpose is the client copy okay suppose i want to doing as a tms configuration you want to log on to triple zero client and username is sap star and what is the password the first password 0607-1992 suppose i want can you yeah password. yeah Okay, suppose I am performing as a support package, you can log on to triple zero client, username is the DDAC and password is 1992, okay, 1992-0706. When you do the client copy, log on to triple zero client, username is SAP star and password is pass. Okay, only triple zero is different, remaining everything is common. Okay. So these are the standard user IDs, standard password depending on the operations. So yeah. now it's clear. Yeah. So I once I had recap. So by default when installing SAP server, what happened? By default when installing SAP server. So SAP server again will be depending to the 
when you showing sap server what happened when you yeah. showing sap application server the application server is divided into the different different part different different partition what is the partition is called what is the partition is called partition is called the instances one application server yeah. how many instances you can configure one instance you can configure the jira zip line totally 100 instances is configure okay yeah. so again each instance how many class you can configure each instance you can configure the so zero zero to nine yeah. means totally thousand clients yeah. okay so again the sap software is two types is the one is for sap ideas what is meaning of sap ideas is for dummy version crack version okay yeah. and licensed version so when installing as sap ideas software you are getting as a totally you getting a so data the data will be coming to the format of clients totally how many clients will be there totally seven clients what are the seven clients here 000 yeah. 001 066 right. 800 810 811 812 okay yeah so now you want to go for installing as sap licensed version at the time how many clients is came totally three clients yeah. will be came what are the three clients here 000 001 066 okay Okay. Again, I said now each instance will be having as a how many clients you can configure thousand. By default, when you're installing, you're getting either seven clients from here and seven three clients from here. Means how many clients you can creating manually? How many clients you can creating? You can creating nine ninety seven and nine ninety three as per your requirement. Again, so okay. Again, what is meaning of triple zero client? What is meaning of triple zero client? Triple zero client is called as a master client. Okay, why it is a master client? Why it is a golden client? It's called as if all standard configuration will be under triple zero client only. So yes. in triple zero, if you do any changes, it will affect the remaining all list term because it's a master client. That's why in triple zero you can perform only three tasks. What are the three tasks here? One is for TMS configuration. One is support packages. One is for client copy. Yeah. Okay. So again, zero zero one. So what is the zero zero one? Zero zero is a copy of master client, copy of triple zero client. So just think here, it's a DVD. So triple zero is called as a just assume as a DVD. Okay. Suppose I want to see any movie in DVD, older days, not now. Okay, older days. So I have DVD. Say DVD is nothing but standard print. Okay. Yeah. By using this DVD, what we do? I want to burning the CDs. What is the CD here? The CD is a zero zero one. For example, CD is corrupted, CD is crash. At the time, what happened? Again, you want to burn the DVD. Again, you want to bring as one more CD. But DVD yeah. is corrupted. At the time, what happened? DVD be printed yeah. one. Then what happened? You don't do anything. Okay, yeah. you want to buy one more DVD. So yeah. same thing here. Triple zero will be having as a what is the triple zero? Triple zero is called as a standard clients. Okay, zero zero one is nothing but a copy of master client. Okay, so by using the zero zero one client, you can do the remaining all operation. What the remaining all operation? Like user administration, background job, school administration, client administration, everything you can do the as per the client requirement. Okay, yeah. and next one is the what is next one here? What is next one? Zero double six. What is zero zero double six? Service. What is this? It's called the service client. So when is when is our application server is done database database is any perform issues so you can log on to the zero double six. Yeah. Okay. So based on the requirements. Yeah. So next. So this is the three clients. So by using this clients again when installing only when you log on to the SAP server only client is an app. You should be in compulsory user is also required. So triple yeah. zero. What is user ID? Triple zero user ID is SAP store and ID. See what the password is. What is the password? Is zero. Yeah. Seven ninety two. Yeah. SAP password is zero six zero seven ninety ninety two seven ninety ninety two. Why putting as ninety ninety two is nothing but SAP R by the architecture putting as this data only. Okay. And one more DDS. DDS fill form is data dictionary. Okay. The password is reverse ninety ninety two zero six zero seven. Okay. And coming to zero double six. Zero double six. What is the username? So zero double six. The username is the and password. Okay. Yes. So these are the user IDs and these are the clients is available in your SAP Site Store. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to see this. Till now what we discussed, you did the practical session. Okay. Just normally. Now see here. 
So first of all, I have to install Linux one application server just fine. Okay. Now this is your application server and so on. So instance number and just click on login button. Now what happened? So we were getting as a some client. Now see here, welcome to IDS CC means what is the software I'm using? Yeah, it's it's a IDS ECC. It's a uh, license version, yeah. No, not license. It's a training system. It's a okay. dummy version, not for licensed version. So dummy one. Yes. So it means by default, what is the client number? You even you see, this is the client number eight hundred these days. Client number eight hundred. Yeah. What is the meaning of client number eight hundred? Yeah, meaning of eight hundred is uh, we can do. Uh, I think uh, application work. It yeah. is nothing but it's a SAP IDS software only. Yeah. It's a SAP IDS software only. Suppose oh, okay. you yeah, do one is there. Okay, so it's a SAP online software. Okay. Okay, like that you are doing. Just thinking about just now. SAP applications are you can go for different different partition. The partition every every instance will be having as the clients. One instance, how many clients will be the what is the range of this? What is the range you can put in as zero 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 to Nine nine nine. Total how many you can putting as thousand dates. Okay, do you wish? Okay, now in particular instance I can give the clients. Okay, clear. So now you want yeah. to any user ID. Okay, any client number. And first time when you log in, you have to understand it. User, we will discuss how you log in. We will discuss later. Now just I have to log in. Okay, and the password as per the requirement. Okay, now he's logging. He's a SAP IDS logging. It's nothing but okay. It's the SAP crack version. It's nothing but a training system. Okay. Okay. So based on their your requirements. Okay. Now this is the just say that I say if don't delay with this thing that okay. Now we want to go for advanced practical session. Just now you get to know the clients. Now see here and it's a client. So now discuss a practical problem. Okay. So you see here. So here, what is the data I say here? So I have. So SAP instance will be having as SAP instance are identified by three alphabet with the characters differed as a SIDs. The SIDs live in development quality. Okay. Each instance can be having as a more than one logical data area is called as a clients. Okay. Each instance, how many clients is there totally? More than one logical data area. Yeah, that is yeah. A, each instance how many clients is there? I'm asking how many clients you can create in. You can create as a multiple clients. You can create as a totally how many? This is the one instance. What is the instance here? The instance is it's a development system. Okay, it's a one, development system one instance, like instance number zero, one instance number zero, one, zero, two. One instance, how many clients we can create in? Zero, zero, two, nine, ninety nine. Nine. Means total, sorry, zero, so triple zero, not instance. I say sorry. Client, one instance. How many clients you can configure? Zero, 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 zero. Nine, 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 nine. Total, how many clients you can get for thousand? So yeah. by default, is a hundred client number, hundred client number, two hundred. Each and every client will be having its own set of database. Its own set of database. So here, each client defining as a self-contained unit in the SAP instance with having its own set of database. That's why you have to log on to 100 user ID. You want to create a new user ID. That will be affecting only this particular client, not remaining client. So you have to log on to this system. You want to create as a one user ID. So this user ID is logged on only 320. It's not logged on possibly to 100 client because uh, it's a self-contained data. And one more property, we call it isolation property. One cannot okay. see another data. Okay. One cannot see the another data. Okay. Okay, so till now is clear. So now I want to start the project. Now I want to press the installing. Now I want to start the project by my client. Sir, I want to do the project. Okay, what the systems is required? What the systems is required? You should be required the level system quality and production. Again, you know, based on the system, again, based on the arrangement. Like you're discussing one tier configuration, two tier configuration, uh, based on the setup. Again, these all systems are in located into the one place. 
Okay, this yeah. all applications servers are located into the one system is called as like a single system landscape. Means landscape. The topic is called as a landscape. What is meaning of landscape? So landscape is nothing but grouping of system or collection of system is called as a landscape. Now see here, development server and quality server and production server, everything is only on one system. Means I want to take the one laptop. In one laptop, I had installing as a development, quality and production. Everything is the one. At the time, what happened? What is the system is called as a single system landscape. Okay. So, so why you have to go for two system landscape? Suppose now you're working in a development system. Automatically, if you do any changes, code like development is nothing coding and designing. If you do any changes, automatically will happen. Happen. It automatically is go for testing. Automatically is go for production. Because uh, everything is only one laptop. At that time, what happened? So if you do any changes in development, it's automatically the live servers. The problem will be there. So that's why the based on this document. Does that mean yeah, the same database? Sorry. Yeah, same database. Does that yeah, database centralized. Uh, database applications are there, but database centralized. Uh, okay. At that time, what happened? So at that time, what happened? The, everything is common. By that time, what happened? Service is not different. Everything is common. Every so everything is installing in same database. Sorry, same system. At that time, what happened? If you do any changes, automatically affect to the everyone. So that's why you want to go for two system landscape. Again, two system. What do you mean? Two system landscape. You have to take the two laptop. What are they? System one and system two. System one, what we do? I want installing as a development and testing. Okay, system two, what we do? Add installing as a production server. Product. Okay, yeah. production server. So and now you will have two separate data databases. Data. Sorry. Now you will have two separate databases. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's also satellite, but you have to do a different uh, two data. Sorry, two databases. Yeah. Okay. Now again. To the, again, the three system landscape. Again, it will be the same problem. Again, development automatically go for testing, testing automatically go for de development. Okay, at yeah. that. So again, those are maximum all are using as a three system landscape only. Every configuration is three system only. Okay, yeah. system one, system two, system two. System one, you are installing a development server. System two, you have to go for quality. And now what happened? There is no different. There is no connection between these two. Okay. So it's ultimately three SAP installation, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Three separate installations. Three separate. Okay. Only naming only you have to change it. Okay, you have to adjust the development. Is the quality the same? Even there is no operation. Just is the naming only changed. Okay. okay. There is no uh, functionality also. This is a. If they are but based on the settings and based just installation is done, then you can do the settings. Yeah. Okay. Now it's done. Now what we'll do again. And again, development, what we do? So I had installing development system. Okay. Development system and quality system and production system in three different locations. Okay. Okay. Now what happened? Again, in development server, I want to dividing the data. Okay. First time I'm doing installation. What are we getting? You're getting as a three class. What are the three class you're getting? Triple zero, 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 one, zero, double six. In development system, how many clients is required? Actually, in development, what we do, we want to do is R&D, even, even you want to go for pressure training, okay, even you want to go for internal testing. Three is minimum, yeah. minimum capacity three is minimum, okay, because of I want one guy to go for developer, above consent is go for customizing, okay, and sandbox is nothing but like a training purpose. Pressure is also joining your company, you want to give the SAP training, at that time what we do, you directly have the configuration, what happened? Pressure do any changes automatically happen that data will be lost. So that's why again you want to differentiate the data in the inside of the system. How to differentiate the system is based on the client numbers. So that's why I said that. So client is nothing but each so client will be hang as each uh, client will be having the self-contained unit. So it's having the own set of data set. It's okay. having own data tables. Okay? okay. And client number 100, client number for pressures. Okay, this is the above developer. This client is for testing. This file is this client is for uh, sandbox R and D department. Okay, mm -hmm. nobody do. All are working on development, but nobody, nobody having as a if you do any change is not affected because of it's a client concept. Again, you're dividing the data, development data. Again, quality. Okay. Again, quality. We have the introduction like check the quality assurance. Okay. okay. Quality assurance is check again. Sir, sir, where you give the individual training? 
just thinking about now you're doing as SBA project okay fine to do it now SBA clerk is there SBA managers is there, SBA POS is there so those who don't know what is the software they don't have only accounting and so on so knowledge on this they don't know software okay at that time what we'll do you are the developer you are the creator so you are doing the developing the project what we do at the time you want to give the training of this those guys that is the meaning of end user training means you want to give the software training from this how to use the as an end user how you log on to the sap servers just end user login is different sap developer login is different okay. so you log in sap gui those are logging url based yeah this is single sign on okay yeah. and even i want to give the so that's a very good as end user training end user training is a fresher training here end user training here again quality server only and next one is a production is nothing but live data in my live data nobody log on this okay nobody access only basis council will be having access this okay okay don't touch this data it's because it's live data yeah okay how to differentiate is nothing but again you're looking at the client's concept only okay so now you're getting some knowledge and not perfect again i will discuss what is okay so this is your landscape okay ecc landscape bw landscape anything how is landscape Okay, now come into once data. Okay, data concept. Even I will show this in my documents. For that tool, you can read. You can edit it easily. Okay, don't confuse this. See here, up to this diagram. So this is the SAP R by three server, R by three architecture, R by three servers and instances and everything. So the database, what happened? The database is centralized. How many application services are here? Application server one, and application server two, and application server. Three and these all are what are these all are? What are these all are? These all are presentation layer. What is it? R by three. Yeah. R by three is nothing but R is three at time. Three is three layer. What is three layer? Presentation layer, application layer, and database layer. Yeah. Okay. Multiple presentation layer, multiple application, but database is a centralized. Yeah. Data yeah. server. Yeah. Again, in application server, how to differentiate data? Now we just know is enough. Just now you want installing as a SAP server. You want to getting as a some data. The data is called as a what the data? What the data? So what the data is there? So when installing as a SAP server, you getting as some data. What the data? The data is called as a R by three data. Again, yeah. R by three data can be divided into how many types? Client specific, cross client, and client space. Again. What is meaning of client specific and what is meaning of cross client? Now see, I will be the definition. So R by three data can be divided into the two categories. What is one is for client specific data. What is meaning of client specific data? So client specific data. Now only data is a only client only. Yes. Okay. And cross client is nothing but the affecting the entire whole system. Or remaining yeah. all clients will be affected. Huh? Sir, again, again, now, again, even if client specific data is also called as a client dependent data, cross client is called as a client independent data. Okay. okay. Again, client specific data again can be divided into three types. Means each and every client will be in three types. What is that? That is called as a client specific data will be in three types. One is for application data. One is for customizing data. And one is for user master record. Okay, subdividing. Okay. So, yeah. Can I do it? Okay. Now
Instagram. So first of all, you the whatever data you getting as you getting as a some data. What the data is called as a R by 3 data. Okay? Yeah. So again, R by 3 data can be divided into how many types? R by 3 data can be divided into two types. What are the two types here? One is for client specific data. Client specific data also called as a what we call? It's called as a what we dependent call data. Data? client dependent data. Cross client is also called as a client, sorry, client independent data and client dependent data. Again, here, yeah, client specific data is divided into the three types. User, master record, application yeah, data. Master record and application data and customizing data. Okay, so cross client, but again, class specific data is nothing but if you do any changes that will affect the only particular client. Okay. Okay, so and sir, what is the meaning of cross client data is nothing but the cross client data is nothing but a standard. If you, have, if you do any change, the remaining all clients. So now tell me, suppose I am taking as a client number, so triple zero, it's called as a cross client data. Zero zero one is also called a cross client data. Zero double six is also called like a cross client data. And now I want to create newly. Why I am creating newly? Because of I want to start the project for my client. Yeah. Okay. So that means so that is the client specific or cross client. That is the client specific only. Okay. Yeah. So that's why like a client number three hundred, client number hundred, okay, client number hundred, okay, client number two hundred, client number three hundred, client number four hundred, like this. So all clients are so when you when you are getting manually that all clients are client specific data only. When you yeah. by default you are getting some data that is go for cross client data. Yeah. Okay. Now again, each client will back to the user master record and application data and customizing data. Sir, what is meaning of user master record? The naming also there. User master record. All user IDs, user related information like user IDs, rows, profile, authorization, and everything will be storing as a user master record only. So application data is nothing but the data will be storing as a standard tables. And customizing is nothing but so when you give giving as a, any background job, you give giving as JDR Y letter. Why you give a JDR Y letter? Because I say customizing data. Okay, so we are giving JDR Y letter. Why you give a JDR Y letter? It's a customizing data. The customizing data is nothing but customizing by the consultant. That will be storing as a customizing data. Okay, so once I had recap, so R by when you storing SAP system, you are getting as R by 3 data. R by 3 data can be divided into two types. One is for client specific data, one is for cross client data. Okay, so client specific data is nothing but so it will be if you do any changes in client space, it will affect you to only particular client. It's also called as a client dependent data. So cross client is nothing but if you do any changes, okay, if you do any changes, it will affect the remaining all clients. It's called as a cross client data. Okay, this is also called as a client independent data. Again, client specific data will be divided into three types. One is for user master record, one is for application data, one is for customizing data. What is the meaning of user master record? User master record is like all user related information will be storing as a user master records only. Like user IDs, roles, profile, authorization, authorization object, everything is storing into the one year user master record. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and next one is application data. Application data is nothing but the data will be stored in the standard tables. 
and customizing data. Customizing data is nothing but so if you do any changes like you want to create the any data, you want to customizing any data by JDR violator. So we customizing by the consultant. Right? They'll be storing as a customizing data. Okay. So okay. this is the client yeah. concept. Okay. Yeah. So this is the client curves. Now what we do? So I want to start the project of my client. So means Hello. just now what we do? Just now I want to just assume as just now I want installing as a development server. Okay. Can you see here? Just now I want to install a guys one server. The server is called as a just assume as a development server. Okay. So now I want to start the project again. Now how again? How many? How to differentiate the data based on the client concept? Okay. Now I'm installing as a development server. How many clients is getting? Three clients. What are the three clients here? Triple zero. Okay. Zero zero one and zero double six. What we we'll do? I want to start the project for. I want to get the client ID for remaining overall data. So what we we'll do at the time? I want to log on this. I want to creating as a one client ID. So how to create the client ID? Client number 100, client number 200, client number 300. Minimum how many clients is required? Minimum three clients is required. So client number 100 and client number 200 and client number 300. So now our target is how to create the client. Okay, where you log on the client. Okay. Now go for. So I want to make a presenter view. Okay, now our topic is how to create the client. Okay, I make a presenter view. Log on to SAP server. Just assume. So log on to the 001 client. So just so you don't have anything, just log on to the 00 client. Okay. Because of just watching the using the license version. Okay, just log on to the 00 client. You won't have that access. One thing, sorry, sorry. I think. <laughs> Zero zero client, yeah. Yes, yes. Now go to the zero zero one client. Just assume because I made the license version. Okay, so log on to how to create the client. So log on to the zero zero one zero zero one, not triple zero. Triple zero can perform only three clients, three operation, client TMS configuration, client copy. And now what we do with client creation. Client creation can be done only on 001 client. User ID, DDAC, use the standard user ID. What is the standard user ID for DDAC? So 001. Mm -hmm. What are the user IDs? SAP star yeah. and DDAC. So you can using only DDAC. What is the from DDAC? DDAC is nothing but data dictionary. So log on to 000 client. Username is, uh, username is DDAC. And password is company specific. is nothing but India123. DDIC password in yeah. India at 123, right? Not at the rate. India 123. Simply 123. There is no at rate. Select the middle radio button because the already login. Okay, go for transition code SSC4. 
how to create the client okay go for the four four ssc four ssc four double c c for client yes that's not ssc four yes c for client c two c is four yes four for client creation Now see here how many clients is there by default. What are the client number we have? Client number triple zero, client number zero zero one, client number zero double six. And remaining are eight hundred, eight eleven, eight twelve, eight twelve. Remaining all clients are custom created by somebody. Somebody created those. Okay. Yeah. Now just click on change button. It's a display over here. Just click on. No, I want to create a new client. Okay, just click on change button. Now just wait, wait. What is the caption? Now tell me what is this? Caution: The table is cross client. Means the table is a cross client. What is the meaning of cross client? Cross client uh, means it's a standard uh, client independent. The client independent data. See, same data will be applied to the multiple members. Yeah. Okay. Same data will be applied to the multiple clients. Okay. So only one guy can be practiced. Remaining guy will be displayed. Okay, that is also one meaning of it. Okay, click on OK button. Okay, click on new entries. I want to create a new one. Okay, now enter the client ID. Okay, create new one. Hundred client, two hundred client, any wish, ever wish. Five hundred, okay. And uh, next one, client name. What is the client name? Anything? D Mart, Rasbim. That is enter the client name. I go one more. No, no, no. That is the city. You see that there is city tab where the headquarters is located. Okay. Now you have to go to the head office. Head office of the head office of the the client. Head office. Okay, and larger the system will be discussed. Just left it. We will discuss later. Our next one, currency. Here, yeah, next one is given the currency. Below it, the standard currency. So, I think you have observed when you create the user, you have to anywhere you have to give the currency option. Yeah. You have to give the currency option when you create the user ID. Ah uh, no. Ah. Uh. I think yeah, we have to use the currency there, right? No, no, no. Actually, there is no client contain user. User does not contain clients. Client, what is the currency will be there? That everything is applied to the uh, the client data. Sorry, the currency will be the remaining all user IDs. Okay, client contain client. What is the data? What is the what is the what is the sorry? What is the currency will be there? That same currency is applied to the remaining all clients. Okay, if you want to go for Europe, just typing as Europe and Euro, Euro. Okay, currency. These are all currencies. Europe, Euro, 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 Euro. Yes, Europe, Euros, Europe, Euros. Okay, British pound. Okay, GBC. Okay, then click on Okay button. Okay, next one. Select the client. What is meaning of Sorry. client? Role? Yeah, next and the correct, correct only. GB is correct. Currency after the mention client role. What is the meaning of user role? So what is the by user roles for users? Yeah, just to define their you know uh, uh, responsibility and you know just restrict them for you know yes. for their function. Now here, why you want to go for client role is testing? Where you want to restricting as a it's as like a development. It's as like a testing. It's as liking as a Okay, it starts liking as a testing department. So how the client is working? How the client number finder is working on? Is working on a production client? Is working on a testing client? Is working on a customizing client? Is working on a demo client? Is working on a training and education? You working on based on? So yeah. based on your requirement, you want to select the client role. So totally, when you start any project, minimum how many clients is needed? Minimum six clients is needed because of six clients role will be there. Totally, how many roles will be there? Totally, see here, how many roles will be there? How many roles yeah, is there? Totally. Six is there. So it should be a minimum six client roles is needed. Yeah. Okay. Select any one. So select the condition 
demo or texting or anything so demo is for sandbox and below all changes is below settings that is very 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 important read the settings once first option what is first better changes, changes. And transport for client specific mean what is that meaning what is meaning a client specific data client specific data is client dependent data only yeah client if that is okay means user missed or record so here changes and transportation means okay so i want to do any user changes i want so anybody changing my user id anybody changing as a my anybody changing my password anybody lock my user id anybody deleting my user id everything will be recorded see it so so what's your changes and that's the first option suppose i am selecting first option what happened what a first radio button yeah without recording yeah changes without automatic it means i want to log on to the 500 client you can do any changes but it's not recorded at that time what happened no tracing who are deleting your user id okay you're not creating user id okay okay, okay? yeah so now suppose by default option what is the by default option suppose you select the second radio but what happened automatic recording of enough, if you any changes means you have to log on to 500 client if you do anything that will be recorded yeah because of this client setting okay suppose i am selecting third radio button what is third radio button no no changes allowed so you don't do any changes means you have to go for production client okay and fourth option what is the fourth option without automatic recording no transport allowed so changes will be done but you don't transfer the data changes will be done and automatic recording also done but you don't transfer the data from development to quality like that so by default settings is this okay based on the servers you can setting this client okay based on the production system development client sorry development client to quality client and production client based on your requirement you can do these settings mm -hmm. okay in real time so this documentation is given by the your project please only i will show the document also how the document is how the settings is doing that and next one is the cross client object cross client below next option is what is the next here cross client object cross. changes what is that meaning yeah. standard data object changes first above one yeah. is the customizing data now below one is the standard data okay now okay. see changes to repository and the cost is customizing allowed means even you are changing as a transition could you are changing as a standard rules everything is allowed that is a cross plane customizing allowed sir what is the meaning repository object is nothing but your screen and everything will be storing in the repository so expand it we are getting as again four options expand this okay. expand it again options so no changes to cross plane customizing option no changes to repository object no changes to repository and cross planes Suppose you say no changes, you don't do anything from standard data. Okay, okay. by default option, don't do anything, just select the by default option. Okay. okay, first one. Yeah, first one only. Next one, production level. Production level for client copy and transport tool. So again, production level, how many is there? Production level 0, production level 1 and production level 2. Production level is 0, there is no restriction. So multiple times you do the client copy. At the time, what happened? Overwriting is occurring. First time when you're doing as a client copy, after that what we do, if you do the client setting as a production level 1. Production level 1 is nothing but no overriding. Only one time you do it as a client copy or comparison. Okay. Second time. So second time you say you're getting error because of client is overriding like you are setting as production level 1. Production level 2 is nothing but no overriding and no extra availability. No overriding, no extra available is nothing but so you don't do any overriding but you don't have any extra, you don't do any changes also here. Okay, mm -hmm. select like by default option is production level. Zero one. Select the value select zero. Okay, next one. Cat and ecat. No, cat. No restriction. Yeah, no restriction. First time you do the copy, then only you do the next restriction. Once it's done, then remove for restriction. Okay? Sure. Okay, next one. Cat and ecat means so I want to create as a mass users, means I want to create a thousand user, two thousand user, three thousand user at a time. At that time, you will get a scripting method. The scripting method is called as a CAT method. Computer editing testing tool. At that time, you want to put in as a allowed or unallowed. Means you want to log on to 500 clients. So you can create as a mass user. At that time, what will do? You put in as a allowed option. Expand you getting as a allowed option. At that time, you have to perform the scripting. So this is done by the security consultant, not by basis consultant. The settings are done by the basis consultant only. 
Okay. okay. Security concern is request. So I want to create a mask using my production system. Please do the client settings. At the time, what we'll do? You can put in guys expand this. Expand the drop down list. Cat yeah. method. Yeah, you can change what we do. You can put it go for so and so client. Why won't you client to that? Just you are putting as allowed. At the time only those are creating as mass users. RS they don't do they don't do the mass users from this client. Okay, so by default is not there. So just click on save button. Mm -hmm. Just click on save button. Protection of yes again saw no need no need there is no 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 need just click on save. So now, now see here practically is only five minutes, but go for theoretical how much is there? What is the meaning and yeah. Okay, just go back. Now client is created successfully. Okay, now just go back. No, 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 go back. Okay, now see here the 500 client is created. Now I want to log on to 500 client. Just go for log on pad. Go for log on pad. SAP logger pad. Okay, now enter the client ID 500. Now tell me what the user ID, what is the password you can log on. 500. Hmm, client number. Huh? User client number. I say client number, not user ID. You're creating as a client, not for user IDs. User ID is creating as zero one. Yes, client number is 500. 500. Okay, and what is the username? 500. Why is it? Huh? Why? No, no, okay. I have to enter you getting as a wrong password only. Because uh, there is no user ID. Just now you are creating. Just now you are creating. Uh, okay. It wouldn't have any data in 500. At that time what we do? So, okay. we SSC for what is the client you are creating? The client is empty client only. There is no data. So, now yeah. I want to fill this client. So, okay. how to fill this client? Okay. How using as a client copy concept. Already by default, what is the client is there? What is by default client is there? By default, by default. Triple zero client, zero zero one client. I want to take the data from triple zero or zero zero one to the five hundred. Then only it is login possible. RS is not login. Then after, so once copy is done, you can start the like I have to login is possible. Then after that, you can go for the zero zero one. You can create the UAS for your users. Yeah. So that is our con client concept. Just a way of client creation. Now I want to um, show them. Okay, and now sir, when you go for real time, how is this documentation looking like? And now, uh, are you able to see my program now? Uh, are you able to see my screen now? One minute. Yes, I can see your screen. This is the implementation document for KT is called as the KT for implementation is here. SAP interaction purpose is this document. System landscape. What is the landscape those are using? Three tier SAP landscape and SAP naming convention. How the naming convention is giving like and SAP clients carry this. And what is the meaning of HCC landscape? Develop, what is the meaning of development system, quality system, and development? And now here by default, what are the standard clients are? What are the standard clients are? So triple zero 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 double six and customer defined clients are customer defined is nothing but so those are creating where the client number those are creating client number 200 client number 220 100 300 700 750 times now see how many clients those are creating how to create the client and 20 clients I believe okay how to I'm asking how to create the client so use the transition yeah. for SSC4 SSC4 so use the transition to SSC4, you can, it's okay, you can create this. So by default, when you're starting, you get this client, you can customize this as per your client requirement. Okay, yeah. because you want to read this documentation, sorry. So you want to understand your development, quality and production. Okay. So this is the landscape. Now here, now see, you know, how do the settings is done? Sir, why the ready button is that? But in this document will be having as a settings also. Based on the settings, you can do this. You don't have any radio button, but in the real time, this is the settings. Okay. You can see the settings. What the settings is there? Yeah, client is 200. Yeah. Client is 800, 200, 130. Yeah. Uh, that is okay. Now see here. So this is the landscape. What is the landscape? Project landscape. Client number 200. 
but a description is a golden client in 200 who are working on 200 only concerns is working on okay yeah. and what is the client role yeah client, client role, role, role is in customizing before you are doing is testing and demo everything okay and now first idea but what is the first idea but it will be the changes and transporting for client specific object what are the options which are selecting what are the data points are given automatically recording yeah. when you go for 220 no changes yeah. 110 yes. automatic 300 no changes 700 no changes yeah. for client specific okay. next one class client objects again what happened non ladder non ladder already non ladder allowed Okay, yeah. client copy, no overwriting, no restriction, no overwriting, no restriction, no writing, no restriction. And cat method is allowed, not allowed, not allowed, not only allowed, allowed, allowed. Means when you go for real time, so you want to maintain this, we want to, before you want to go for client creation, what we do? We ask for this client creation, ask for this document, you can create the client. You don't take your own decisions. But you are now, you are the own, you are the boss, you are the leader, so you can do everything. Yeah, I understand. It is basically from the business. Yes. When you start against implementation project only, you can give this document. So we will read this documentation, then only you can start the, okay? Uh, okay, now everything, you can read the naming convention, client ID, and what is the client specific, and what is the development and quality, then only you want to start the creation and everything. Okay? So, yes. sir, when you go for development, minimum how many clients is required? Now see here. So these are the client roles. So what are the client roles? Totally client roles. How many clients roles is totally? Six is a. What do you see here? When you SSC for how many clients roles you see? Totally six is a. What are the six here? One is for customizing. One is for quality assurance. One is for production. What is meaning customizing for development, doing as a new functionality and quality assurance for certification purpose and production is for live data and initial training purpose. You do any experiments and test, internal testing and training and user training. Okay, I will show the landscape. This is your landscape. There are how many servers is there? Okay, okay how one, many two, servers? three. Okay, how three many servers? servers? What is server? Three server, server, quality server, and production server. Okay, in again development server, how to differentiate data by using the client number. So, how many client development minimum? How many clients is needed? Minimum three. Three. So quality minimum how many is needed? Two. Two. Production how many minimum? One. One. Okay, mean just now you can now. So you want to create the client number 100 is for sandbox. Okay. Client number 200 is for testing. Okay. Client number 300 is for customizing. Okay. Client number 400 for quality assurance. Okay. Call them, client number 500 is for training okay client number 600 for live data means total how many is the six clients is minimum means why is minimum is nothing but you see here i said again so customizing for only consultant suppose i want to any r and d you can using a sandbox testing is nothing but internet training once customizing that you can move the data into the where we moving once customizing so, yeah one second I'll show that okay why three clients is needed is nothing but what is the meaning of sandbox? Sandbox is nothing but a fresher trainings. Okay, so means this client number 100. Okay, only for this is the I want to setting as a client role is a sandbox. Okay, at that time what happened? This is only for training for freshers. No need to anybody. Okay, client number customizing. Remaining all model about department for experienced guys. About department, okay. Next one, quality department, and next one, sorry, MM department, ST department. All departments is working with this client. So those are developed directly, those are writing coding and everything. After that, you're doing as internal testing. Okay, internal testing is then, then what we do is moving to the quality assurance. Internal testing is then, then you move the quality. Quality testing is then, then where we move, you want to move into the production server. Product. Okay, this is the way of your data will be changes from anyway. Sir, what is this training? What is this training? What is this training? Is nothing but end user training. Means what do you mean end user? Yeah. Like SBA clerk, BMW car, anything. Who are workers on this? Those working on those are end user is called as a clerk. 
Yeah. Okay. So this is the client strategies. Okay, client creation. Till now, what we do? Just now, you have to create the client only. So yeah. now, what we do? So just now, you want to create the client. Where we create the client? You want to create the client in SSC four. Okay, in SSC four, I want to create it as a one client. What is the client you creating? Five hundred. So I want to able to log on to five hundred. What are the minimum details is required? We need to go for log on pad. Compulsory user ID is required and password is required. Sir, I am creating user ID. I am creating only client ID. I don't have user name and password. And then what we do? So I have the already by default clients is there. What are by default clients is there? What are by default clients? When you start getting SAP, so what are by default? Standard clients are zero 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 one. So zero double six. So at zero double six, there is no user because it's a service client. So at that time, what we do? So I want to take the data from either zero zero to five hundred, either zero zero one to five hundred. Anything you can take it. So means what we do for the process? So we can use that concept is called as a client copy. So I want to do the client copy between the two clients. So what is meaning of client copy? Is nothing but client copy means transferring the So transferring the what data? Transferring the client specific data. Again, it's a data to client specific data between the two clients. Between the two clients, are you again here? Between the two clients, with the two clients, between the two clients. Okay, with the same system, are same SID or different SIDs? Okay, it's called as a client copy based on the SIDs. The client copy is divided into three types: local client copy, okay, one is for local client copy, and one is for remote client copy, okay. One more is the next one more is the client import and client export. These are the client. This is very 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 important from the real time. Yeah. Okay. So this is. So local client copy. How we using SSL, SSC nine, SSC seven, SSC eight. Okay. So by using this client, you can do the client copy as per your requirement. Okay. So this will be discussed tomorrow sessions. Okay. So first of all, you want to create report. I will share this documentation, sample project documentation, as well as a PPT. Just read before you want to understand the tomorrow concept. I have that. We just we want to read this document.